Good evening. I would like to welcome all of you to this historic graduation celebration of scholastic achievement. Friday High School was created back in 1919 and its first graduating class was in 1922. Thus, we are here tonight to celebrate our 98th graduating class. These seniors and their families have faced many challenges at the end of this school year. We have had been blessed to have some very wonderful people step up and make this a great memory. On behalf of the Filer High School and Filer School District, I would like to thank the City of Filer and our many senior parents for all of their efforts in making our 2020 graduation celebration memorable for our graduating seniors. And now, let me introduce Madison Parker, who will be playing a piano solo of the National Anthem. It is my honor to introduce this year's valedictorians and salutatorian. These students represent high standards of scholarship. In order to earn valedictorian and or salutatorian status, students must take a prescribed series of high academic courses and maintain a very high grade point average. These seven graduates did just that. And to honor them this evening, on behalf of the Fighter School District, we will present each of them with a plaque commemorating their accomplishment. This plaque will be given to them when they receive their diploma in today's celebration parade. This year's valedictorians are Zane Barkholz, Austin Geralima, Haven Jones, Sydney Larson, Cassie Madsen, and Genevieve Williams. Our salutatorian this year is Aaron Patron. Congratulations to all of them and let's listen to their thoughts from their recorded speeches. To be honest, I'm not really sure how to start a speech like this. I've never watched many graduation speeches myself. Not how I like to spend my free time, really. Honestly, I was counting on ripping off the person who went before me, but that plan kind of fell through, so here we are. Obviously, I would like to thank everyone who helped me to get where I am today, especially my family, who's always been there to support me and buy me things throughout the years. I also want to thank the lunch ladies, the teachers of my easy classes, and my advisor, even though I know you wanted us to finish our senior project. This year has been like all other years of my life. Absolutely crazy. Fires, floods, earthquakes, a pandemic. And now I can't even go to my favorite restaurant. Why am I still alive at this point, really? Seriously, though, it's been a lot of ups and downs, but that's how life always is. I won't bore you with a long speech going into great detail about every single year at Filer High School, but I will say that I definitely grew and changed as a person while I was here, and that's what life's all about. At least I think so. Plus, I'm completing this speech at the last possible second, so I'm kind of rushing, but hey, I'm not valedictorian, so what do you expect? If you hadn't noticed already, I'm reading the speech off of my script, and I'm almost out of lines to say. So... I hope everyone is doing well during this quarantine, and I'll see you in the summer. Peace out.
Thank you, Filer High School. This truly was the wildest ride I've been on. From where we started our freshman year to where we are now, we really proved that the class of 2020 is the best yet. I think it's safe to say that no one thought I'd be recording this speech on my Chromebook or that you would be watching it on video. But that just proves how strong and resilient that our class has become through these last couple of months. We learned how to rebound through tough times and always stay strong. I'm glad that Filer High School was the place where I was able to learn how to rebound and stay strong. Thank you. Thank you to my parents. Without your endless love and support, I would not be who I am. I believe that I can speak for all the graduates of Filer High School when I say that we could not have done it without you. Whether it was making floats for the homecoming parade or cheering on all of our sporting events, our parents made high school a genuinely life-changing experience. Thank you. Thank you to the teachers of Filer High School. You are the most incredible mentors anyone could ask for. Thank you each and every one of you for playing a part in making me who I am. Whether it was talking basketball in the gym, or learning how to make a sales pitch in physics class, having mimosas in class, or having counseling in class, the teachers at Filer High School really made all the difference in the world. I'm grateful that I spent four years of my life with you. Thank you. And finally, thank you to my classmates. All of us made each other who we are. Look at us. We're graduating. Don't take this accomplishment for granted. Use it going forward. All the hard work, struggles, and effort are finally coming to fruition. However, don't forget what happened at Filer High School. Remember memories like the couch or getting sauced. Remember all the countless trips to Dutch Bros and B-dubs. Remember the cheers and chants from the stands at football and basketball games. But most of all, remember each other. Don't let the people who made these memories leave your mind. Keep each other close and continue to grow with each other. I know that you won't leave my mind. Thank you. Class of 2020, the best we've seen yet. Hello, class of 2020. So I'm a valedictorian and I heard that means I have to give a speech or something. So here it goes. I just wanted to start off by thanking everyone who made this possible. I'm so thankful for my parents and my sisters. They have been the best support system I could ask for. And without them, I don't think I would be here right now. Big shout out to my coaches. Uh, I made so many memories just through the sports that I played and they played a huge role in that. They also always told me to keep pushing and trying my best, whether it be in the, in the sport or just out in life. A uh, big shout out to all the teachers who just made school more enjoyable to be in. And finally, I would like to thank all my friends. Uh, they made school a better place to be as well, and they just made so many memories with me that I will cherish. I want to congratulate all my fellow classmates on making it here with me. It was a long journey, and with what we had to push through there at the end of our last year, I feel like we could really do anything. With all that was stripped from us, I hope that we just learn and grow from it. I'm sure no one expected this to be the way that our high school endeavors would end, but we made it through it all. Congratulations, class of 2020. Hey, Farley High School students. A long time ago, I promised you all that I wouldn't stand on a stage where we were about to graduate and ramble on while everyone was ready to get on with it. So I will try to keep that promise today. High school has been the longest four years of our lives. We have been through the inevitable as individuals and still somehow managed to get that piece of paper from Mr. Madsen that says we weren't complete failures. We all had different experiences throughout these four years that have set us apart and allowed us to become who we are today. But we have also been one class. We have stood together through triumph and pain and I couldn't be prouder to be a part of this graduating class. During these speeches, they can go one of two ways. We can joke about life and share memories or we can be serious and try to motivate you all to do something after. However, I have decided that I'm not really qualified to tell you to be a successful person. So jokes and stories it is. As the virus has taken away the last few months of our senior year that we worked 12 years for, and as have I try to decide which made our life harder, the administration, all these years, or the virus, I have learned situations are not promised. We are not promised a graduation or a college degree, or even to see our friends and make the memories we will never forget. Life is never promised, but we can live it to the fullest. 
I have had the opportunity to experience moments in this class that I will always cherish, whether it be playing and cheering at sports games, singing the fight song with the band, or getting to know each other in class when our teachers pull out the second grade card and make a seating chart. I'd like to personally thank the senior boys for allowing us to meet new people by using your excellent communication skills while Ms. G tries to teach us the quadratic formula. I also want to thank our teachers who have gotten us where we are today. Although there are some that I'm pretty sure want to make high school as hard as it possibly can be, there are those who have dedicated their lives to not only helping us learn, but also being our friend and ally. I know I wouldn't be the person or student I am today without the help of those special people who wanted nothing but for me to succeed. As I said earlier, I am in no position to tell anyone here today how to live their life, but I would like to share what I have learned. During life, friends, families, teachers, and coaches have taught me lessons that I have taken to heart and feel will benefit those around me as well. I have gained two keys to life that will hopefully unlock a door for some of us at some point. The first is life is life. Life can't be controlled and it can't be taken back. We can stress about the future and regret the past, but when we stand where we are, all we can really do is focus on the present. I have heard a quote that states, life is a gift. That's why it's called the present. If we can learn to enjoy where we are, leave the past behind and go towards our future, the possibilities are endless. The second I have learned is never to quit. We all hear this lesson our whole lives and think it means to finish, but I have taken a different approach. To not quit is to know what you want and seek it with everything you have, to fight for what you want and gain the skills you desire along the way. Things are going to seem impossible at times and others will make these situations even harder, especially as we enter this new chapter of our lives. But if you want something and you strive to achieve it, no circumstances or people can stand in your way. To finish, I wanna say thank you class of 2020 for being here and a part of something we will always remember. I cannot think of any other group of peers more talented and persistent than ours. Some of you are on to great things and will change the world. Those that aren't, we still care about you too. Congratulations, class of 2020. We freaking did it. Hey everybody, it's been a while since I've seen you all. In case you forgot, I'm Sydney and I'm here today to give you a speech that I wrote last night, so please bear with me. I think we'd all prefer to be together right now, but can't really do anything about it, so might as well make the best of it. We've been through a lot together as a class, and after this, we'll all be going our own ways. As I look across my screen, I see future doctors, lawyers, farmers, dentists, and probably some future felons. But that's besides the point. The point is, is that Filer High School has shaped all of us in different ways. And the lessons and memories that we'll take away from this place will influence our lives for years to come. It's crazy to look back at 2016 when we entered high school as freshmen. Half of us were in braces and walked around the hallways doing bottle flips and dabbing. We've changed a lot since then. Now, we just sit at home and binge Tiger King on Netflix. I would like to take a moment to thank all the faculty and teachers for their hard work throughout the years. And although it isn't much, I think we have learned a few things from our time here such as something about government and democracy from Hawker's class, dozens and dozens and dozens of math equations from Miss G's class, and for the life of me, I can't remember a single one. We learned how to write an entire English paper the night before it was due, and we learned the best websites to use to pass our classes. Thank you, Quizlet. I know the last few months in quarantine have been hard for all of us, but if you think about it, I think our class might hold the record for the longest senior ditch day. And with that being said, congratulations, class of 2020. We did it. Good job, guys. Hi, guys. It's Cassie. You know, before I got to writing this speech, I thought it would be a lot easier than it actually was. I sat here wondering what in the world would I say to everyone that I went to school with. Then I realized that is exactly what everyone else is thinking but not about a speech, but about life after high school in general. I'm not gonna stand here and say that it gets easier because God knows it's not, but I will say that every one of you have this under your belt. I've never been so blessed to theoretically stand before a group of students who have outlasted the current crisis and still be proud of everything we have accomplished. Our class has been through so many hardships alone, and that is something we should recognize. We didn't give up or say we couldn't continue on, but instead we came together and push through it. 
Our class is the drive and motivation for much more than school. These characteristics are what will carry us all through life. Many of us do not get to stay at home and do nothing. We have to work for what is wanted, and that is the backbone of what will continue on. Looking back on my high school career, it wasn't a normal one. I transferred from another school, making my freshman year a completely new experience with people I didn't even grow up with. But that didn't faze me, because all of you opened up and made me feel like filers are family. Heck, you guys weren't even my classmates my first year of high school. And when I decided to skip a year, some of you encouraged me and made me feel that that decision was the best one I could have ever made. So I can't stand here and reminisce on all the good times we had growing up, but I can say thank you for being the people that made my three years of high school enjoyable and worth every second. I just want to say thank you to every teacher I've ever had. Not only did I enjoy my time in your classes, but I enjoyed the material that went along with it. Every one of you were very nourishing in knowledge and allowed me to broaden my horizons. I especially want to say thank you to Dr. Johnson. Dr. J, you were the person who helped me realize my career path choices and my love for medicine. Thank you for being the teacher who is always a teacher, but also seemed like a friend. All of you helped me accomplish my goals, and I will always be thankful for that. High school has been all about the growth and the experience of being responsible, and that's exactly what it came down to. High school has taught us more about ourselves than any teacher could have ever taught us. Now, don't get me wrong. The teachers definitely did teach us, but they didn't teach us how we wanted to live our lives. The students and friends each of us made taught us how to live our lives to a full extent. And there will never be enough thanks for all of that. High school has been an eye-opener as well, and it makes us realize that not everything lasts forever, and new directions and changes should be welcomed into our lives. Life will take us into every direction, and none of us will know how it is going to go. And instead of taking that into, into spite, embrace it, and you'll find yourself in a better situation than before or in the exact place you were meant to be at. Well, class of 2020, here's to you. We've made it. Hi class of 2020, as well as friends and family members. Um, I apologize that a traditional graduation has been postponed. However, at least some accommodations have been made given the circumstances. I never really thought what I would say in my graduation speech. I never thought I would be the one giving a graduation speech. I never thought I'd be one of those fancy people standing up there giving speeches. I guess I'm still not, I mean, I'm sitting, but you know, same difference. Anyways, um, when the counselor first told me I had an option, whether or not I was gonna give a speech, my immediate reaction was, okay, no thanks. My mother soon corrected me and informed me that I would be giving one. So here I am. Um, I thought about what I would speak about and what inspiration I could provide to future students or current freshmen, sophomores, or juniors, and decided to reflect on my past high school experiences. So my high school experience is a bit different from some or most people because I have gone to two different high schools. Um, at my first high school, Skyview High School, which is in Billings, Montana, um, I struggled to make friends. I realized that everyone already had friends and I didn't know anybody because I had been homeschooled previously, so I didn't know anyone from middle school because I had never gone with any of them to middle school. So I was scared. I felt like I couldn't make any friends and that it was just impossible for me. I was also afraid to ask teachers for help because I didn't want to look stupid in front of everybody. I didn't want the first impression on other people to be that I was too dumb to figure out things on my own. Um, I soon realized though that both of those things were quite honestly stupid because People are more than willing to make friends with you quite easily, honestly. People are pretty friendly most of the time. And as long as you are not super quiet, they won't make assumptions about you. So 
it's best to be vocal and try and make friends and usually it works out better that way. Also, I realize that teachers often want you to ask questions or they think that you're not listening or that you're a genius and understand information without really needing help. So, which both of those assumptions are quite inaccurate. So it's best just to ask for help if you need help and to go from there. Anyways, um, when I moved to Filer High School, even though I had realized both of these things, for some reason, I kind of started over with that whole process. I once again was in a place where I didn't think I could make friends and I didn't want to be weird and be the only one asking teachers for help. However, I again realized that you just have to reach out to people and try and make friends. And that's kind of what high school is about is making connections and being social. So I went through those phases again and was finally able to make friends again and ask for help. And then I kind of realized I wasn't very involved in the community at Filer, you know, the school community. So I decided to join the soccer team. Well, I wanted to the year that I first came to Filer, but I happened to come in the middle or near the end of the first trimester. So the soccer season had already ended. So the next year I decided to join the soccer team and that's probably one of the best things I ever did at Filer because I made a lot of friends, I had a lot of fun. And even my senior year I had fun, even though things were a lot different, but I still had fun. So that's one of my biggest suggestions is to either join a sport, join a club, do something within the school community so that you feel like you're contributing to the school because you make friends a lot more easier. You have a lot more fun. I mean, usually joining clubs or sports or anything is a lot more fun than just going to school day in and day out and not doing anything else. So that's kind of my message, I guess, is to make friends. Don't be afraid to ask for help and either join a sport or a school activity. So good luck, class of 2021. Um, Hopefully that your graduation isn't like this and you don't have to give a speech in front of a camera because it's really weird. <laughs> um, and yeah, good luck. And I hope that whatever you do, you're successful at. For our next musical selection, please welcome Elizabeth Edler. She will be performing For Good by Idina Menzel. Before we part, I 
much of me is made of what I learned from you. You'll be with me like a handprint on my heart. And now whatever way our stories end, I know you have rewritten mine by being my friend. I can ship home from its morning by the winds of the sea. Like a sea dropped by a sky bird in a distant world. Who can say if I've been changed for the better? But because I know you, because I knew you, I have been changed. And just to clear the air, I ask forgiveness for the things you've done you'll blame me for. But then I guess we know there's blame to share, and none of it seems to matter anymore. I do believe I have been changed for the better And because I knew you Because I knew you Because I knew you I have been changed for It is a pleasure to introduce our keynote speaker. Mr. Dong is speaking to us from Pendleton, Oregon, where he and his family currently reside. Mr. Dong teaches physical education and coaches basketball at Pendleton High School. Mr. Dong formerly served as the athletic director, physical education teacher, and basketball coach here at Spider High School. Now, Mr. Dong. Wildcat family, wow. If you would have told me five years ago that I'd be speaking at a high school graduation, I would have told you that you were crazy. But last time I checked, these are some pretty crazy times. To all the graduates, families, faculty and staff, I hope you are doing well in the midst of this unprecedented time in our nation's history. And hopefully you didn't gain the COVID-15. I wanna thank Deandra Haas, Mr. Matson the Filer board, School Board of Trustees, Mrs. Jeralamik, and most importantly, the class of 2020 for having me speak at graduation. It is a big time honor and I am privileged to be addressing you today. During my time at Filer, I started a selfie tradition that I would like to continue. Because of these challenging times, here's what I'd like you to do. I challenge you to take a selfie and include your family if you'd like, post it on Facebook, or my Twitter feed and tell me one positive thing that has happened to you in the last two months or one positive thing that has come out of this year. It is a small request, so don't be selfish. And for old time's sake, I am going to take a selfie. Let me begin my speech with a trip down memory lane when I coached this class in eighth grade football. I was super excited because we started off the season 2-0. Now, 2-0 might not sound too impressive, but it was special because the year before, they did not win a game. Needless, needless to say, we did not win a game after our 2-0 start. But what I can tell you, in the face of adversity, this group can be described as resilient. 
Despite all the challenges of a losing season, they kept a positive attitude and came each and every day to practice with a work ethic that was unparalleled. In your short journey, one could argue that your class has endured more than any other class before you. As you move on from high school, there are going to be many more challenges ahead. I would like to share a story with you. In Japan, they have a deep love for architecture and there once was a man named Koda who built the finest houses in all of Tokyo. And his work became world famous due to his dedication to the process, his willingness to beat on his craft and his relentless devotion to keep learning even late into his career. Eventually, Koda grew tired of building homes for other people and he was ready to retire. He had been building homes for 30 years and was ready to move on. He wanted to travel and spend more time with his grandkids. One day, Koda approached his boss and turned in his two weeks notice. His boss said, Koda, we are forever indebted for your magnificent work you have done for our company. And we are so grateful that you've worked for us for so long. We do have one more favor to ask of you. Could you please build one more house? It is for a special client and everyone in the company agreed that it needs your special touch. Koda was frustrated. He would have to cancel two trips and postpone his new life all for one house. He told his boss that he needed some time to think about it. After talking it over with his wife, he gave in and decided that he would build one more house. But he told his boss, this is the very last one. While Koda agreed with his head, his heart was no longer in it. He had always been hands-on through the entire building process, always selecting the finest materials by hand and making, every shirt, er, making sure every detail was diligently attended to. But this house was different. He viewed it more as an obligation than an opportunity. He delegated most of the work and consequently, a lot of things started slipping through the cracks. The house would be up to code, but it started to come together and it was obvious it lacked the wow factor that Coda's other homes had been known for. Coda knew in his heart that this was far from his best work, but he was over it. He was ready for the next phase of life. The next phase was much more appealing and important to him than the present moment. After four months had passed, Coda had finally finished the house. He went back to his boss telling him, I did what you asked. Now please give me your blessing to retire. His boss said, thank you, Coda. We just have one more thing. Now Coda was beginning to really get upset because he thought they were going to ask him to build one more house. His boss reached into his desk and pulled out a very small black box with a red ribbon tied around it. He handed the box to Coda and said, we are forever grateful for you. This gift is a token of our appreciation. Coda pulled on the ribbon and opened the black box to discover a set of shiny new keys. His boss smiled. The house is yours. You deserve it. Immediately, his heart sank. Unbeknownst to Coda, the whole time he had been building his own house. If only he had known the house was his own, he would have cared so much more. He would have only used the finest materials and he would have overseen every detail and would have given it his all like he had always done, but it was too late. So I ask you today, what are you doing to build your house? As you think about this question, I want to talk to you about three lessons from Coda's story I believe can help you along the way. The first is to realize that every day is a tryout. The second, is you can't cheat the process. And the third and most important is your identity. Every day is a tryout. Every small minute detail of each day is slowly building your house. Have you ever shot a basketball? The slightest adjustment to your feet, hand placement, and height of the release can change the trajectory of the shot and thus the outcome of the shot. The same can be said about life. The slightest adjustments can change your life. Dennis Rodman in the documentary, The Last Dance, took time to explain how he would have managers shoot and he would essentially chart the shots where, where they hit on the rim and how they bounced off. That 
is dedication to detail. Former CSI coach Barrett Perry said, you always want to put your heart and soul into what you're doing in the moment because you don't know who is watching and what doors will be opened in the future. He proceeded to tell a story of how he had just gotten hired at Portland State as the new men's basketball coach. He asked his new athletic director, why me? Why did you hire me out of all the candidates? And his athletic director proceeded to say he was in the crowd at the junior college national basketball championship seven years ago where Coach Perry was coaching for CSI. He was impressed on how he coached and the way his team played so hard for him. You never know how what you are doing right now will affect you down the road. Every day is a tryout. The process is hard or everybody would be great. You will have to put time and effort in when no one else is willing to do so. Society, culture, the entertainment industry, professional sports leagues only show you the sexy. They show you the finished product. Greatness is not sexy, but rather hard, dirty work that is done in the dark, not in the spotlight. You must take the approach. Everything is an opportunity to learn and grow. You need to maximize your growth through the experience. You have to be willing to do the dirty work. This takes time and your results might not be what you want at the beginning. But as time goes on, you start to master it. In, in a culture that desires instant gratification, it is important to recognize that you will be light years ahead if you trust the process and not skip steps along the way. I hear people saying in Filer, in Pendleton, and across the nation, I feel bad for the seniors because they didn't get to finish their senior year, they didn't get to compete in their spring sports season, they didn't get to go to prom or fill in the blank with whatever else. I don't feel bad for you, but rather excited because the rough side of the mountain molds you and shapes you. All your experiences, shortcomings, perceived flaws, struggles, all contribute and prepare you for the journey ahead. Embrace the rough side of the mountain. Embrace the process. And remember, under pressure, you don't rise to the occasion. You sink to the level of your training. So far, I asked you what you were doing to build your house and explained to you that every day is a tryout and you cannot cheat the process. Now that you have built your house, I'm going to ask you about the foundation. What is your identity? What defines you as a person? Is your foundation, your identity, built on characteristics that make you a better person, such as loyalty, trust, love, integrity, and the list goes on? Or is it built on things such as what college you went to or going to, your success, your job, how much money you make, what house you live in, the car you drive. All those things are good things, but they can be stripped away in, in an instant. Don't put your identity in something that can be stripped away in an instant. Class of 2020, you are a resilient group. You have faced many challenges over your high school career. From the tragedy of losing your classmates to COVID-19. All of these events have turned your world upside down. I assure you that all these experiences have made you stronger for the journey ahead. As you close this chapter of your life and move on to the next, I leave you with this thought. Discouragement comes in many different forms, from giving your best and not being successful, to the voice inside your head saying you aren't good enough. You must always keep your guard up so as not to let discouragement overtake you. Fuel your heart and your mind with encouragement. How do you do that, you might ask? You fill your heart and your mind with these six things. What you watch, what you read, what you listen to, who you surround yourself with, how you talk to yourself, and what you visualize. I ask you one more time, what are you doing to build your house and what foundation is it sitting on? 
Thank you for having me share this special day with you. Words cannot express how much it means to me. Filer holds a special place in my heart as well as my family's. And you know what they say. Once a wild cat, always a wild cat. Graduates, today is a day of celebration, a time for looking back on lessons learned, adventures shared, bright moments filled with special meaning. A farewell, a time for saying goodbye to old friends, to good times you've known, a time for packing away memories, treasures for tomorrow. A beginning, a time for looking forward, a time to set new goals, to dream new dreams, to try your wings and see what lies beyond. As part of Filer's graduation tradition, we take time in this celebration to allow our graduating seniors to honor those who have greatly impacted their lives through the bestowing of the medallions. The Medallions of Gratitude is a way for our graduates to demonstrate their appreciation for those who have helped turn the dream of graduation into reality. The class of 2020 wants to say thank you for helping them make it through. Thanks for making it possible for them to succeed. They couldn't have done this alone. Each student is encouraged to carry on this Filer High School tradition. Graduates, what a year it has been. During this time of graduation, take it upon yourself to think of the people that have supported you and encouraged you along the way. And recognize them by presenting them with your keepsake medallion. May it serve as a reminder of the influences and the support throughout the year. Our next musical selection will be Season of Love by Jonathan Larson. This ensemble of senior performers are Evelyn Anderson, Elizabeth Edler, Gwen Moses, and Jesus Rodriguez. Accompanying on the piano is Alina Moses.
have the freedom to define who you are. Find your passion. You may fail, but don't ever give up. Life is hard work. There is no easy way out. Be bold, be courageous, be your best. Be responsible and respect life. Above all, always believe in yourself. What an unpredictable way to end your senior year. It has brought about many unimaginable challenges, but you did it. Congratulations on your graduation and best wishes for your next adventure. Members of the school board, distinguished guests, family and friends, on behalf of Filer School District, it is with great honor to present to you the class of 2020. Alan Aguilar. Andrea Lynn Alania. Evelyn Hope Anderson. Ethan Tyler Anderson. Tegan Dale Anderson. Zane Matthew Barkholtz. Jordan Elijah Berendret. Kelsey Lynn Barnes. Sophia Catherine Bartholomew. Felix Angel Bautista. Taylor David Bench. Canyon James Blakesley. Kaylee Danielle Bowman. Jolene Evelyn Boyer. Bridge Stephen Brandhagen. Benjamin Michael Brasha. Kaylee Ann Brown. Zachary Layton Birch. Burke Caden Byington. Sydney Jeffrey Caps. Ellie Amanda Jean Carico. Mari Jean Carter. Adrian Miguel Cervantes. Marcelo Chavez. Marilee Chavez. Carmen Leona Crawford. Derek James Cushman. Caden James Dallas. Connor William Darnall. Rose Louise Davies. Carter Travis Doty. Elizabeth Michelle Edler. Riley Ann Eldridge. Macy Elizabeth Erickson. Hunter Joshua Fivecoat. Cameron John Gaddis. Jonathan Thomas Gale. Corey Ann Gartner. Kylie Lynn Gartner. Liliana Levy Godfrey. Navea Ashley Grover. Tyler DeAnthony Goodnow. Maria Ann Gutierrez. Kyle Christian Harrison. Deandra Ray Haas. Trenton Matthew Higley. Davis William Hunsaker. Tyler James Hunt. Austin Gregory Duralamic. Ashlyn Janes. Thomas James Jensen. Patrick Richard Johnson. Haven Macy Jones. Savannah Nadine Kesty. Hallie Jordan Knight. Shelby Autumn Coyle. Taylor Lamoureux. Sydney Nicole Larson. Randon Tues Lawrence. Mariana Lopez Nieto. 
David, Irwin, Elmo, Madrid, Cassie, Anne, Madsen, Presley, Marie, Malone, Ashlyn, Ruth, Merritt, Mason, Chance, Martinez, Briar, Kendall, Meeks, Mikhail, Elise, Meyer, Natalie, Marie, Montes, Gwen, Cassidy, Moses, Isaac, Munoz, Madison, Ann, Parker, Edward, Neil, Pasteur III, Madison, Trinity, Pedro, Megan, Nicole, Pedro, Jose, Roberto, Perez, Miguel, Angel, Perez, Aaron, Patron, Ashley, Ray, Phillips, Caden, Colt, Reddick, Gracie, Ray, Robinson, Jesus, Vega, Rodriguez, Selena, Marie, Rojas, Justin, Alexander, Rude, Benson, Ward, Roundtree, Aspen, McKenna, Ryan, Wiley, Lane, Satterwhite, Victoria, Sharon, Shankel, Kristen, Marie, Schliebe, Jessica, Joanne, Schroeder, Kyle, Hunter, Scouten, Emily, June, Sherman, Kelson, Riley, Seegers, Makai, Manjeet, Singh, Eric, Lipot, Jorgo, Stowinski, Jordan, Elsie, Smothers, Kelsey, Joe, Snyder, Justice, Dawn, Two, Heidi, Jeanette, Thornburg, Morgan, Marie, Trappen, Hadley, Michelle, Tyree, Gage, Mason, Vitek, Jace, Woodrow, Ward, Hallie, Hunter, Wakehall, Brogan, Ross, Wells, Alexis, Renee, Wheeler, Genevieve, Jasmine, Williams. On behalf of the Filer School Board of Trustees and the staff of Filer School District, it is now my honor to accept these students as graduates of Filer High School. Let me be the first to congratulate all of you, the class of 2020. Good luck to all, you did it. And now, at this time, I would ask the graduates to signify this milestone by moving your tassels from left to right. 